Well, thanks for tuning in to Amazing Kitchen. I know I haven't been posting for quite some time since December last year. I haven't been making videos because I've been down with the flu, been ill for like two weeks straight. Then once I recover, other family member caught it from me and then it just kept passing on. So I've been in and out of A&E and, &E, uh, and also the doctor's office getting medicine, feeling very fatigued and lethargic. So couldn't do anything. I mean, could even barely cook uh, for my daily dinner. But anyways, I'm now, now all recovered and good to go. So I hope in 2020, hope to make some more good videos and back on track. So I'm sorry if you've been following my channel and been expecting uploads for the holiday season. I've been disappointing you, not able to post any. But I did got some footage so maybe I'll be posting that later on in another video. For this one, I'll be talking about CNY or Chinese New Year, which is Lunar New Year and depending on which part of the world you're from, because that's this weekend. So let's talk about a little bit about how it's celebrated and what are the meaning of some of the dishes that is consumed during this time. So for Lunar New Year, it's basically a family reunion time where everyone gathers around the dinner table and we celebrate this uh, New Year's. So it's usually consumed uh, by having dumplings or fish or some sort of seafood. And if you're in Southeast Asia, it's typically celebrated with a steamboat or hot pot, which is a hot pot of uh, soup where you dip the raw ingredients and cook it well and then have your dipping sauce and eat it just on the spot. It's fresh and tasty. So I'll be talking about that today. Now, if you're from uh, different parts of the world, like in China or Taiwan or North America, maybe the celebration is slightly different. So I'll be talking about steamboat today or hot pot. Now let's start with this. This is a Mandarin orange, is a big one in fact. So this is typically seen in Chinese New Year time. It's consumed for a snack or dessert because this represents gold or fortune because it has the name of gum. It sounds just like gold. So everyone enjoys it. They exchange it as gifts. They give it to uh, family and friends or they consume it at home where they buy a big box with little tiny ones in it and they just wrap it up and send it out with the red little pouch which typically has money in it for fortune again. So it's very auspicious time for the Chinese. So everything has a meaning. It's all about uh, prosperity, doing better with fortune, good health, longevity, and all that sort. So we'll be talking about steamboat today. In steamboat, if you haven't seen how it looks like, it's basically a round pot with a broth in it that is cooked on some open flame or in this case, an induction cooker. Then we get all the raw ingredients to surround the pot and you put whatever raw ingredients you need in this soup then consume it once it's cooked. Then there's some dipping sauce on the side where you can make your own or dip it in as please. So let's talk about a pot. Typically the pots are round and they're round because they represent unity or reunion because for Lunar New Year celebration, it's all about family reunion. It's all about gathering, it's loving, happy, and smiley. So then there's also, also ingredients that also represents that. So in this case, this year is because of the Christmas and, uh, and New Year celebration hasn't been very good for me. So I thought, why not for Chinese New Year, spread a little, you know, enjoy myself and have a nice seafood platter for this dinner. So this is what I had. So here in front of me, you see this big box. In this big box, it has four pouches inside or rather four containers inside with ice and it house all the fresh seafood ingredients. So typically I don't have seafood for a steamboat, but I guess why not, you know, just have some fun this year. Now let's open this up and see what is inside. When it's open, you see there's different ingredients that is ice packed to keep the freshness because these are all fresh ingredients that is packed for cleanliness. Now in the first pouch, you see there's fish. So fish represents uh, 
prosperity in Chinese, it must be a whole fish with the head and tail and all the uh, bone intact. So this, in this case, is prepared already, sliced uh, into fillet forms, but the fish is still whole. So that's in the first box. In the second box, we have uh, small pouches. This has like two silver pouch, which contain chicken broth. Then there's some other tofu uh, pre-packed inside already. So once you cut open, you can just pour out and uh, serve. Then in the third pouch or third container, we have seafood, expensive seafood. We have abalone, we have lobster, and shrimp. So shrimp represents laughter because it sounds like uh, you're laughing. Ha, 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 ha. So therefore, shrimp represents laughter. Then abalone and uh, lobster represents fortune as well because it looks like uh, old traditional Chinese gold bar as well as the dragon or lobster is pronounced as long ha, which is uh, dragon ha. It's also a good sounding uh, seafood dish ingredients also. So typically is served with the steamboat. Then we have another pouch which have some fish balls and some strips. This looks like uh, soy strips which also represents longevity and uh, fortune. Then we have some other boxes. These other boxes, one contain fish maw. If you already know what it is, it's basically the belly of a, of a fish, but it's very expensive and it's very tasty. So we can add this to the soup later. And once it's cooked, we just enjoy it just so with your dipping sauce. Then the next box contains the dipping sauce. We have some garlic chili sauce in this small little container. Then the next one is bean, well not bean paste, but uh, the next one is basically bean sauce. It's very nice, uh, very tasty to have, but if you don't like bean, you can skip that. Then we go to this nice big black box. This is the XO sauce. In case you don't already know, XO sauce is typically made from some of the top seafood ingredients mixed with some spices and all chopped and mixed into this nice dipping sauce. In this one, it comes with a nice serving dish and a tiny spoon where you can use it as a dip to scoop your sauce over your ingredients or simply put it in your dipping sauce. So this one has abalone in it. So it's very tasty or it has some, uh, it also has some dry scallop which adds a lot of nice umami flavor to this dipping sauce. All right, now that I've gone through everything, how we start this is we get a nice induction cooker in this case. Usually in the old days, you have an open flame, but that's more dangerous. So we're gonna have it with an induction cooker on a dining table. Then we serve it with a round pot and add the chicken broth in it, mix it down with some water. And we turn up the heat and let this cook. Once it comes to a boil, we can add our ingredients in this pot. But as you can see, all the ingredients must be rinsed out because the shrimp also has uh, intestine down the center. You don't want that in your soup. So make sure you clean that out also. So all the ingredients I took to the sink, wash out and drain and dry and put back. So now our soup broth is ready and is boiling. Now we can open up and add our ingredients in it. So typically you like to serve it with whatever uh, you enjoy having. So just toss everything in this hot soup, cover it up, wait for it to boil again. Once the ingredients float to the top, it's ready to consume. So I like my fish balls, uh, the abalone. Noodles is typically served last because the noodle will absorb the broth and all the liquid in the steamboat. So typically, you enjoy all the ingredients first, then you add your vegetable or your noodles last because that sucks up all the broth quickly. And in this case, we also have some different noodles. We have some udon, we have some egg noodles. The noodles represents longevity. So you don't want to break it. You want to just consume it whole and long. I know it's a little more difficult, but it's just for uh, good sounding and 
welcoming a good 2020 year. All right, so all the ingredients are here. Let's cook this all together in one pot, add our ingredients of choice. Then we can make our dipping sauce. So typically, uh, some people like to put them in little trays with different sauce and then you can dip your ingredients in it. Or I like to have it where I get a separate bowl. I add all the ingredients I like in one bowl. So some people like it spicy, some doesn't. Some like the soy sauce, some doesn't. For me, I add everything. I add the exo sauce, I add the chili sauce, then top it up with some soy sauce and some sesame oil. This adds a nice fragrant and aroma to this entire dipping sauce. Then I put that aside, then I get a, a separate bowl. Now I have a chopstick that is not mixing with the raw ingredients. So we have a separate chopstick to serve the raw ingredients or pick up the raw ingredients with. Then a separate cooked one, which is used for consuming because you don't want to cross contamination here. It's not going to be good. Not good for New Year's. All right. So now the ingredients are cooked. Let's enjoy it. Look at this big abalone. This is fresh abalone, by the way. It's not canned abalone. This is fresh abalone that's clean and vacuum packed. Now, once it's cooked, it has a nice chew and has this nice seafood umami flavor to it. Ah, if you've never had it, give it a try. I mean, this one, this platter came with about seven of these. So I'm going to have a couple today. Then we also have our shrimp. The shrimp is very easy to cook. You dip it in. Once it turns color and it flows to the surface, it's ready. The fish ball also. If you can see how this bounces when you bite into it, I mean, mm, it has a nice chew to it. The ingredients are just freshly cooked in front of you. It's kind of like Korean barbecue, but with water, the Chinese version. So I'm sure you've had Korean barbecue if you're in North America or all around the, the world. But hot pot is something probably not as popular in the West. But if you can find a local restaurant, I mean, go ahead and uh, give it a try. If you if you live in Asia, this is very common. I mean, turn up your AC at home and enjoy this. If you are not in a hot, if you're not in a cold climate, if you're not cold climate, then open your windows and enjoy this together. So hot pot is very easy and simple to prepare because you get all the ingredients you laid around the pot. Everyone cooks what they like. Very easy to clean. Very little waste. So it's tasty and is usually enjoyed by many. So in this case, I don't have meat, but typically I have it with meat. Today, it's all about seafood because it's New Year's, right? And I'm going to open a classic Coke in a bottle. Yes, this is what I grew up with. This is how Coke is consumed the tradition way. In this bottle, it tastes different. I don't know why, it just tastes better. So, all right. Well, I mean, I'm going to continue eating, enjoy my dish. This is a lot. Tonight, I'm serving it with just two or three uh, people. So just my family. I mean, it's a small family, but quite a lot of food. So, I mean, I'm going to see if I can finish everything. I doubt I can. Okay, well, I'm going to try and finish this meal. Thanks for joining me with this CNY or Chinese New Year special edition. And you get to, I get to share with you what I have for Chinese New Year and what is the meaning behind everything that we eat. All right, well, uh, good health and prosperity to everyone out there. And I hope you enjoy Lunar New Year just as much as I do. All right, well, remember to subscribe and check out our playlist. So until next time, we'll see you again. Bye now.